up everybody uh, welcome welcome back to it oh jesus hello 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 what is up everybody welcome back to another episode of driving with randy my name is road rage randy how are you guys all doing today today i should check my front door quick i have a package coming in let's check her out well it's it's not here that the UPS man tends to vary when he delivers and she's not delivering early today. Um, I'd like to go ahead and wish you guys a very happy Monday. Um, I, I guess if you've never listened to the podcast before, my name is Road Rage Randy and today... Um, we're driving around as per usual, as you can tell. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and start things out here with an apology, though. Uh, it, it, it has come to my attention kind of late into the release of the last episode that there's like 10, 10, 12 minutes of just nonsense that you can't hear. So I'm going to go ahead and explain what went down. I was walking through the grocery store and just kind of, you know, uh, talking and, and, and rambling about things as I as I usually do but um there it goes god dang I never get out of this intersection I bitch about it a lot too um it it's it's just it's been it's been something it uh, so I I I didn't realize that it didn't record properly, but in typical driving with Randy fashion, I uploaded it anyways because I don't listen to it. And then someone's like, bro, we can't hear. But it's like, I apologize. I really do. I, 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 I don't mean to upload shitty content, but sometimes it's just it, it ends up being shitty content. And you know, you just got to live with it sometimes. Um, hey, I'm actually passing a store, right? What the, f- why would you think it's okay to go right there, sir? Uh, I'm passing a meat store right now. They had samples on Saturday. So I went around with a toothpick, grabbed a bunch of samples. Ah, uh, they had some like maple syrup beef stick. That was pretty good. Or it was maple, I think. I don't think they put syrup in it, but it was maple. And let me tell you. It was good. It was it was absolutely delicious. Um, yeah, I also got a pound and a half of bacon. So I actually I walked into the store. And I'm like one pound of bacon, and then we get to talking. And then he's like, he's like, you say pound or pound and a half? I'm like, you know what? A uh, pound and a half. Could why? Cause cause bacon. Who who wouldn't want more bacon? I mean, let's just let's just be let's just be honest. Love me some bacon. We actually use that for some um, bacon mac and cheese. Shout out to my girlfriend, sister, and mother for making some bomb ass mac and cheese. Oh, and there was like, there was broccoli too. Oh, and, I, and some garlic bread. It's just <sighs> that meal brings me back brings me back I had good time Saturday so actually Saturday we went for a drive uh, just a drive along the river a simple day driving along the river we saw many eagles we stopped we pulled over saw some trains we saw some beautiful bluffs and cliffs it's just I don't know the day does just doesn't get better than that it's it's simple fun entertainment what are you doing is there a cop up here or why are we breaking? Just suddenly breaking out of nowhere. Oh, and, and, and now we're struggling because this guy's backing up. Wow, what a struggle. I mean, it's two, two, two construction trucks trying to get into the same spot, but they're both in the middle of the lane. What a struggle. Um, a- anywho, um, I want to talk about running today. So I actually... Went for a run the other uh, yesterday. I'm not a runner, and I usually only ran if it's raining out. Um, the conditions aren't ideal for skating right now in Minnesota. I mean, it's 30, sandy, and wet. Um, 
like, all right, God, I, I thought that guy was just going to stop there. I was, I was going to get a little concerned. So I go for a run. Now, the, the problem with running is anytime I run, so during the summer, my, what are you, do, why do people have to cut out in front of me today? I'm going to ride his tail. Go, you want to cut out in front of me? You go my speed then, buddy. Let's go. Foot on the gas, Mr. Ford F-150. It's dirty. You got a dirty car. Why don't you get a, a car wash? It's, it's dirty. A any, a anyways. A anyways, let's, let's continue. Um, so, the problem with... I, so, the inline skating, my, it boosts my cardio levels, obviously. So, my, my cardio is always significantly better than my running skills so my legs aren't used to the high impact of running because skating is it, just you, it, it's you're very light on your feet but running it, you, it it it's got some impact and my my legs and muscles aren't used to that so when I run I kill them but the problem is my cardio level or at least this is my theory I, I believe my cardio levels are just so high and I'm able to push it like I was running um, 615 miles for a 5K, so three miles at 615 pace, no problem. Like, my, my cardio could keep up with it. But the problem is, after a mile, my legs were destroyed. Uh, that, that's actually how I ended up hurting my knee, I think. I, I don't know if it was a 5K or if it was the 10. I, I, did, a, um, I did a 10K run at about 725 a mile I believe um, and that's with zero running training so like it, it just it all came down to my inline skates and it, like I said it just my muscles aren't used to it so I, I went out and I, I don't necessarily have proper running shoes but I went out and the goal was let's just keep an easy pace so 825 a mile that's it. That's an easy, easy pace for me. Uh, it's a little rougher right now because I haven't been skating, but 825, it was still manageable. Um, the whole point was I wanted to go for a run, not kill my legs, and see what happened. Well, my legs are kind of sore today. Uh, I, I think it's just soreness. I don't think I'm actually injured. So once I recover here, what I'll probably do is I'll probably just keep dishing out 825 5Ks. Um, do three mile runs at 825 a mile and just get my legs used eventually I feel like my legs are going to be good um, uh, the big problem back in the day when I was running was I thought I didn't stretch and like, I'm, not, I'm not flexible I, I'm, I'm far from flexible so I thought maybe a big part of it was just I, my legs are so tight all the muscles and tendons and stuff, they're so tight. Running just put this big impact on it. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm, uh, I, I think I'm just going to keep doing some 825 while I, while I can. And, and once my, I, once my legs adapt to it and are used to heavy hitting of, uh, like I, I don't feel my running forms good. Like I grew up playing like soccer and baseball and stuff. So it's not like I, it's new to me, but I just, I haven't, I, I've, I've never ran distance, I suppose. It's always been kind of like sprint soccer and so, and soccer's on grass, whereas I'm running on pavement. So it's just, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting there though. I, I want to do some dry land and I want to get into this running thing. Um, cause it'll only help improve my skating as well as the yoga I've been doing. I, I feel like that's going to really improve my skating because there's some yoga poses that I do where I'm just like shaking and you got to really focus on your breath and where you're putting your energy and I think when it comes to skating whether I'm tired or um or sore I think the, the breath part and the mental aspect that yoga gets me through is going to really help with the skating. And speaking of skating, actually, that uh, 
Um, that package that I checked at my front door earlier, um, I'm, I'm looking to, uh, or I kind of, so I went skating at the U.S. Bank Stadium, as you guys know, and I just kind of got psyched for the season. I'm like, oh, I need these replacement parts. So I bought some axles and I bought some spacers. Um, the axles go into my frame. I, I believe one of them is like, close to being stripped so I, I need that anyways and then um i bought some spacers so what the spacers do is on my old skates i had long spacers so pretty much what it does is it, it separates the bearings but the old spacers what it did was it the bearing fit 100 percent on it but the problem is after a while like dirt gets in there and the bearing just doesn't come off the axle um, with these new skates, I got some floating spacers. So the only difference is it's a little harder to put on some bearing. Ah, damn it. We got stopped by a red light. We got a red light. Um, there's a lot of cars here, so I, it's, it was understandable. Um, anyways, so the, the spacers are they're a little harder to put in, but... Um, they're going to be a lot easier to take out, obviously. Um, so I bought some of them. And then I saw a cool hat. Um, there's a brand called Flying Eagle. They don't make racing skates. They make more um, freestyle. Free, free skate. They're called free skates. Um, pretty much it's just like a, it's like a hockey boot. But it's, uh, or it'd be like your normal inline skate but it's carbon fiber and usually they they have more frame options than a standard fitness skate like um you you can you can adjust the frame like on my speed skates you can adjust the frame um the the long way you can't adjust it front and back they, they do make skates where you can do front and back um, mine only does side to side which is fine um you know, it, like the skates get the job done. And the whole point of me getting these skates was to kind of learn and um, figure out if the speed skates is what I actually really love. And let me tell you, folks, it is. It, I, I absolutely love it. Um, God damn, what was I, what was I going to say? Uh, should I cut in front of this car? Everyone else seems to be cutting in front of me today. Oh my God, and he's turning. I definitely could have. We're just creeping towards. All right. Um, what was I? Yeah, so I, I, I ended up buying them, and then I, I wanted free shipping, so I ended up buying six tires and or six wheels. Wheels, wheels aren't cheap. I think I think I paid twelve ninety five per wheel which is uh, that, that, that's that, that's quite a bit of money God the car wash is so backed up like I need a car wash but at the same time do I really want to wait in line do I have the kind of time today to be waiting in line we're gonna park right here God a couple couple months ago I would not have parked here why because there's cars near here and I don't fucking know how to park but I'm getting better at it. I'm going to go run into the gas station quick, buy some stuff, and then I will be back to talk to you guys. All right, so uh, when I walked in, so I got two breakfast sandwiches, but when I walked in, I kind of realized, what was the whole point of me telling you about running? Oh, my legs are sore. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. I, like I said, you just kind of talk to myself and... Mm. Whatever comes about, comes about, right? Uh, we got a waffle breakfast sandwich. It's sausage, egg, cheese with a maple flavored waffle um, top um, bun. Now, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Um, when I first had one of these, I didn't like them. I, I'm like, what is this? It didn't taste good. 
but the flavor grew on me. It really did. Um, I think I, it's just like I had to give it another chance. I had to give it a little, a little bit of time to set in and, and, and I had a second I'm like god damn it these are really good and so now I just used my coupon buy one get one for a dollar um I couldn't be happier these are delicious um what else was I going to talk about um, I did buy you guys remember the last podcast where I um I bought a dragon, a dragon tea, I believe. It, it was a dragon white tea. Um, and I did a review on that. I got the other kind. It's, um, it's the dragon tea, but it's called Yerba Mate. I don't know what that entails, but it's called Yerba Mate. Let's, does it have any, like that other one had that funny thing on it. Oh. Uh, well, it does. Um, so if we get stopped at another red light here, I'll read that to you. I kind of hope I do. And then we'll have good content. Good. Oh, there's an American flag over there, and then there's a red flag under it. I'm like, are they flying the coronavirus flag? No, that's an Arby's flag. <laughs> Oh, that's a bad joke, bad joke, bad joke. Um, yeah, they're, they're running. My, my legs are a little sore, but the yoga has done wonders for my life. Like, just my life. Oh, my God. The yo- oh, All right, we're at a red light. Good, 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 good. Let's read this. So it says, roughly 500 years ago, Spanish conquistadors conquered the Inca Empire. They stole the gold on they told, stole the gold and silver, sailed it back to Spain, unknowing they left real treasure behind. The green gold. Yerba mate. So this is a kind of kind of herb, a kind of tea. Since time untold, the native people reverbed yerba mate and its energizing and rejuvenating properties. Dragon Yerba Mate tea captures the amazing benefits of yerba mate. All right, the, 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 the light is green and we must continue on. So essentially, these Spanish conquistadors jacked some of the gold and silver, but they ended up leaving behind some of this yerba mate. And this yerba mate is what they brew this tea with. What the fuck are we, what the fuck is going on today, ladies and gentlemen? Like, what are we what are cars doing today it's it's monday and it's beautiful outside and people are driving around like morons i should have double deckered this this egg sandwich oh that's a good idea you know what this one tastes a lot better than the other one though the egg has more flavor in it uh consistency ladies and gentlemen that's anything you want to do in life just be consistent at it this podcast being consistent with it I'm uh consistently bad lately but I'm being consistent and I'm putting out like I said come April April, we're going down to one a week. I feel like one a week, I can put in quality and energy into it. Whereas two a week right now, it's getting a little hard. But I'm going to keep putting the work in until we hit April 1st and release episode 100. I'm going to keep putting the work in. Because I want this podcast to do well. The first... There's some... You know what? There actually are some really good quality podcasts that I have produced. But there's also some really bad ones. 
Uh, I remember one of the episodes. <laughs> I think one of the episodes. I it was kind of like this where I didn't have anything recorded, but I didn't. I wasn't feeling well that day either. So it was like 19 minutes of me driving around doing absolutely nothing. I, you know what? One of my podcasts that has done the best. I really like when I have guests on here. But as far as, like, solo podcasts go, I think the the one that has done the best in your guys' eyes, like, as far as viewership goes, um, I believe it's called Let's Navigate or something. And I remember it was just me going to look for my friend, and I was out of data, so I, did, I couldn't plug it in, and I needed to podcast, so I decided to podcast. It was pretty much me like, hey, this bro. You know, I had the whereabouts of where he was, like, whereabout, but I didn't know exactly where he was, so. It, it, uh, it was a second sandwich. Mm. I eat a lot when I drive, though. That, that That's bad. But I've only been pulled over once, and that was for a headlight out. I I mean, let's be real. My headlight was out, and that that, that lady was really nice to me. I was literally on the turn to my street, too. Um, She's like, can I see your ID? I'm like, she's like, where do you live? I'm like, right around the corner here. (laughs) He's like, all right. Um, Just get that fixed. I'm like, yes, ma'am. And then I drove around with a light bulb in my... uh... When the rear one goes out, if the rear one goes out, let me tell you. One of the downsides to having a 2007 Toyota Sienna is if a rear light bulb goes out, you have to take the entire back off the trunk. That's kind of a pain. Mm. I've had to replace those. Um, I had to replace the um, the actual mechanism that um, was as much as I don't know about cars, I'm actually pretty good at replacing things. So I can replace the light bulbs um, in the tail and front. I can um, I, I replace this aux port. That was easy. I, the, so the, the handle that you have to press to make the trunk open, I had to replace that as well. I did that by myself. I actually did that and it was like three degrees out and my hands were numb. Everything always breaks in the winter. So I had to replace that in the winter. I replaced this ox port in the winter. Why can't something break in? I mean, I don't want anything to break in the summer, but I'm just saying it, it'd be a lot easier on my hands and my well-being if we just replaced it in the, in, in the summer. I, I don't know how we got in that. I was talking about consistency and how you want you want you want to do something in life you just got to be consistent at it you know say you want to be a runner consistently go out and run you're going to have bad days you're going to have good days but you'll get to where you want to be if you push yourself hard enough ah that's just that that's my that's my little inspirational talk for this month. actually Someone else sent me something today that was pretty inspirational. It was like the the something I I I don't know. It was, it was something in relate it pretty much the whole idea. Theodore Roosevelt said it. The, the whole idea behind the quote was if if um. What the hell? What what am I doing? Uh, do something because you enjoy it, not because others 
want you to. It, it, it was it was something along those lines. So like or like living up to other people. Comparison is the only thing taking away joy or some something like that. It was something like that. So like if I compare my my podcasting skills to Joe Rogan, I'm by far superior. But no, no, <laughs> you you know what I mean. Like yeah, I shouldn't compare myself to him. I should do it because I enjoy it. And that's why I do podcasts because I enjoy it, and I have I have some listeners who enjoy it as well. So that that's always a plus. And it's so casual, it's such a casual. Uh, anyway, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop rambling on about things. Um, I'm almost home. I want to thank you guys very much for tuning in today. Um, we talked about some running. We talked about some um, egg sandwiches. We just, we're, we're talking about everything today. So thank you guys very much for tuning in. Go ahead on over to iTunes, drop a review. Go over to Twitter. Follow me at Thoughts by Randy. That's T-H-O-U-G-H-T-S-B-Y-R-A-N-D-Y. Thoughts by Randy. Um, and head on over to Reddit, r slash driving with Randy. And essentially, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you guys in another episode. Thank you guys very much for tuning in today. Peace. No, I lied. I'm not done because, um... I promised myself I'd say something else at the end of the, each podcast. I need something different besides peace. Have a good life. Peace.